Hello, this is Avival Garver, and today I'm going to show you this nice combo kit made by Countycom. This is an overstock um, set that they have currently, so the price is very, very good. Uh, it consists of the Maritech, which is their brand, uh, AAA by 2 Extreme uh, Inspection LED flashlight, and the Boker Nesmi, uh, which is a nice little blade here. It's a D2 steel. It's got uh, some nice handles and such. We're going to go over that in a little bit. Let me show you what's going on with the light first. All right. So this is their Tactical Light by Maritech. This is reversion 3. Um, so it's got this nice little like pen clip on the side here. Um, it's got a tail cap, which is nice because most of them have it on the side. But this has got a nice tail cap on the back. And of course, it's got an LED light in the front, and if you look carefully, you'll notice that the reflector is not smooth. It's called orange peel. And what this does gives a really nice beam pattern. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, so you've got some nice knurling in the front here. And you have these slats here, which make it a little easier to work with. Uh, by the way, you'll see it says cage... Uh, 5 e KB6 and NSN pending. The cage has to do with their government products that they produce for things like FEMA, um, explosive ordnance disposal units, um, you know, uh, police departments, military, things of that nature. Uh, they make special equipment for uh, to like a government standard. Um, so they're usually nice pieces they're really really nice and they're affordable so the nsn by the way is if i remember correctly it's nato so they're pending certification for nato so uh, in my opinion that's that's good stuff so it's got this whole aluminum body as i said you got these front slots in here to give you a little bit more adjustability um, comfort in your hand really so it's it's nice and strong you know, nice grip you got knurling in the front you got knurling in the back and the clip does move all the way around if you need to and they do make replacement clips if you need to um, I've been unable to break it after a couple of weeks of beating the piss out of it and the finish is still in really good shape um, actually if anything you'll probably see more skin stuck in this um, for having my hand stuck in all sorts of suspension components and things but I digress. Um, so you have this nice clicker on the back, little tail clip, uh, tail button, a solid button. Right? It takes two AAA batteries. They recommend like a lithium battery, but I didn't have any available, so I just used uh, alkaline. So they're probably not as bright as it could be. And I want to show you a little bit of the detail work they have here. So even though you have a nice fine uh, threaded tail cap, all right, nice fine threads, it's nice looking in there, but here's what you'd need to see. There's an O-ring there. Most companies I show that are tactical usually don't have an O-ring, and when as you try to screw this on or screw it off, it gets jammed, you get water inside, but this gives a nice solid seal. But what happens if you damage that? What do you do? Well, this is the container it comes in, which is kind of cool. I've got to get more of them. Super handy. But it comes with O-rings. Um, like I have their brass capsule also comes with O-rings. So that's a nice touch. So you're paying for a quality product, and they're giving you the replacement O-rings just in case. And I don't know what this plastic container is called. Excuse me. But I love it. So I gotta figure out what these are called and buy some. Put like my drill bits and small hardware and such in. But uh, put it in and you can adjust it to all different heights. Or just annoy the hell out of your neighbors like that. So that's kind of cool, whatever that's called. Um, but let's go back to this for a moment. So it's gonna be a little difficult to see because I have this white background here. And I have this light on up here. So I'm going to turn the light off in a moment. And we're going to go through some of the specifications on this for the lights. 
Um, by the way, without batteries, this weighs 22.8 grams, or about 0.8 ounces. So without batteries, this thing is really, really light. It's about 5 inches overall length and about 0.58 inches wide. All right. It's got a Type 3 military grade anodizing and a matte finish. So you shouldn't have to worry about anything um, glinting or reflecting off if you're, you know, say if you're a police officer or, you know, a security guard or something. So you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, revealing where you are. I mean, that might do it a little bit, but it's pretty flat. Um, so it uses the two standard AAA batteries, 1.2 to 1.7 volts each. Um, it has standard modes pressing through the tail cap, um, but we're going to go through that right now. Ready? Well, I almost see nothing there, so let me turn this off. All right. And I can't get to my other light. It's all the way across the room. Um, but this is their low setting. Uh, lunar low, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's about 1.5 lumens. So that's what they have it right as 1.5, and that seems to be brighter than a lot of the 1.5s I see by other brands. So, uh, a lunar low with full battery power, you're at 100 hours. So if you're reading something, um, I don't really have anything here that I can show you. I mean, if you're in a really dark place and you don't want to light up too much, there you go. So, 100 hours at low. All right. Now that's high, because I started off in the lowest setting. So it normally goes high to medium to low, but I started off at low. This is the high setting. You can see how the hot spot in the middle is nice, and there's a smooth transition from the hot from the high to the low to the outer part. Um, you can also see these. That's not a nick in your screen or anything. That's actually in my background here. If I pull this away, it's still a really nice even beam. Uh, the, the camera does not do it justice. I don't really have a good way to show you how to do um, how the beam is on this. I'm actually in a process of um, figuring out how I can do that so I can compare all the lights fairly. Um, so on high beam you're at um, it's 425 lumens. So it's pretty bright for 425 lumens. My opinion, anyway, it's uh, lasts about 1.65 hours, so it's got a use good amount of usable um, time there. Now I'm going to go to medium. Again, see, it's still a nice, nice transition from the hot spot out. All right, and that's all due to the uh, oil, uh, oil orange peeled um, reflector. So on medium, you're at uh, 45 lumens. And medium will last about six hours on regular alkaline batteries, not like the lithium batteries, which probably last even longer. Um, and then, of course, you have that low again, which is that one and a half lumens for uh, 100 hours. Now, there's something that's not typically talked about with this. Say if I wanted just do a half click, there's uh, the 425. Let's go to medium so I don't blind everybody too much on this. That's just a light click on the tail cap. Uh, the surprise on this is this has memory. So right now I'm on medium. If I turn it off and I turn it back on within three seconds, it'll be back on medium. If I put it on low, wait about three seconds. Whoop. And it's low. Can't do this with the camera in the way because I can't see where my hand is on the uh, flashlight. So that's low. If I turn it off, wait about three seconds, turn it back on, it's low. Turn it back off again. Let's wait a few seconds. How about eight seconds, ten seconds? Turn it back on, it's still low. So if you turn it on and say you switch to a different mode, here we are on medium, press the tail cap off completely and wait a few seconds about three turn it back on and it'll be back on where you left it at now you're saying well three seconds what happens if i forget to do that and within three seconds well if you get it first at the three second mark and you turn it off again you can wait a while so 
We'll wait another 10 seconds. So right now we're about the 10 minute mark on the video. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually 20 seconds. Turn it back on and it's in the same medium again. So that's how you test it onto uh, memory. It's not often talked about, but this has memory, which is a really nice function. Um, the front of this will get warm to the touch um, after about an hour of use on high. Um, otherwise, it seems to be staying pretty cool. I'm going to turn the top light on, so watch your eyes. Now let's take a look at that boker knife. Right? So I'm going to leave this here. Oh, I'll take it off the screen for a moment. This is the Nesme. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Okay, made by Boker. It has this beautiful black sage my cotter handle. By the way, it's full tang. And here you can tell it's a D2 steel. Full tang all the way through. Both sides, because I've seen seen companies do otherwise. Right? It's got these um, copper um, through hole rivets, which is nice. Of course, they're eventually over time will um, oxidize to a green color, but that's okay. It'll still look like a beautiful knife. Um, this is really good if you want to have um, like a paracord or lanyard hole, something of that nature. You can tie this to your bag, you can tie it wherever you need to. Um, this is actually, oh, I can't remember his name. Let me find it. I'm sorry. Um, this is based on the design of the Nesmuk which is a uh, hunting knife. So, um, this is made by a Danish knife maker, Jasper uh, Voxnes. My apologies if I said it wrong. There's his emblem on the back, a little bomb looking thing. Um, he makes actually quite a few uh, Boker knives. Actually for other brands too, but Boker is one of the more common ones for him. So, uh, overall length is uh, 6.10 inches long. There's a point to the back end there, 6.1 inches. The blade length is 2.76 inches. The blade thickness is actually decently thick for such a small kind of knife uh, at 0 0.11 inches. It weighs only 3 ounces. So if you're looking for a lightweight knife, that's easy to grip, and I'll show you something else in the back here in just a moment. It's nice. Of course, it's got that uh, D2 blade material, so it's strong and easy to sharpen. Uh, the Black Sage Micarta, which I don't have anything else to compare that to. I have other kinds of Micarta, but nothing that has this kind of character to it. With that and the offset of the copper and the black powder coating of the blade, it's it's really nice. Uh, the camera here does not do it justice. You can see there's black and brown in there. There's a little bit of light colors in there. It does have a texture. It's not absolutely smooth. Gives you a good amount of grip though. All right. Now most people will say there's jumping back here, but it does not. Like most knives, it actually has it forward in the front here. So. In line with the curvature. It actually, if you follow your thumb, it's just about that same kind of curve. So it's like an extension of your thumb. So that's cool. Um, I've already had to sharpen this once because I used it for feather sticking and some other stuff. You can see a little bit of a, a roll there, which I haven't completely gotten out yet. Um, but I've had a little bit of trouble sharpening it. Specifically, um, uh, the way my um, sharpening stone is, it's too narrow to get this curvature properly. So, yeah, I just have to get a different uh, sharpening system. I do it the old-fashioned way with uh, stones. Um, not like a wicked edge or anything, I use actual stones. So, you can see there's a little bit of damage to the edge there, but very little. But that's after using this to make uh, to process tinder and to cut leather I'm in the process of making a um, 
leather tool roll, um, which I've never done before, so I'm, I'm learning a new skill. And uh, leather apparently wears things out pretty quickly. But this is still a great knife. There's no flex whatsoever. It doesn't bend. Handle is nice and solid. It doesn't move. I don't know what the 2033 two three in the back is about. Um, but it's written that back there. It's probably like a serial number. Um, and if you're wondering, well, well, I don't want to keep it on a uh, lanyard arm because it might be a little uncomfortable of sorts. Well, it comes with a leather black sheath. So, got a nice little loop in the back for your belt. I don't know if I can see it on there. It's all it's nice thick leather. Stitched really nicely. It's got a couple of through hole grommets on it. Actually, I think it's got one. There's a good little button at the top there. But it's nice. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, it's a little too smooth. Um, I would have gone with more of a raw leather look. Um, or a Clydex sheath, personally. But this is more than satisfactory. This is done nicely. It's got a little curve to it. That's probably how I had it. Um, sitting on my shop bench because I don't use the sheath that often. Um, so that's what it would look like, all nice together. So it's a nice fit. You see that there's a nice snug fit. It's not loose at all. Very almost no, maybe a half a mil side to side movement. So it's made well for this. And it only comes with the Marantech Extreme Triple Aid by 2 inspection light. So if you want any more information about this um, combo kit through County Com, there's going to be a link in the description for it. Also if you use um, Survival Garver as one word in the uh, discount code section, you get 10% off your order. So that's good all around. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, thank you for taking a look at this because this is a beautiful knife and a very, very good flashlight. Um, you know, I, I show a lot of EDC lights on this uh, channel. And this one I've carried more than any of the others simply because it's got the clip on the side and it's very well made and the light output is great and it's nice and clear and crisp. So this is going to be my everyday EDC for probably now on. Um, but uh, that's it. So it's the Maritech Extreme AAA by 2. The Boker and Simi. And it comes with a sheath. And comes with the extra O-rings for the light. You do have to supply your own batteries, though. And that's it. So, thank you for watching. Again, any questions, leave them below, and I will answer them pretty quickly. At the top of the screen here is going to be a link to um, a playlist of Countycom products, because I love their stuff. They're awesome. Um, I also leave, uh, in the bottom will be, in the description will be the coupon code. And, of course, the link to this. And if you like this, please like it. Um, and if you can, subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you for watching, and have a glorious day.